A Toronto woman is begging Immigration Canada to reconsider its decision to have her deported back to France. She tells City News she came here as a 12-year-old. She's now 30. She says her whole life is here. I've built a life here. I am supported. I have lots of amazing friends and family and and I just I don't want to be forced to leave everything I have mm -hmm. for 18 years. Laura Suchet says if she and her mother had not received bad advice when they first arrived in Canada, she wouldn't be in this mess. They could have been sponsored by her grandmother, who was a Canadian citizen. Instead, they applied for refugee status, which was denied. A removal order was issued back in 2006, which was ignored, again on the advice of their immigration consultant. Because of that, when she applied for permanent residency on humanitarian and compassionate grounds in November, her case was flagged, and the CBC BSA, which enforces deportation orders, came to her door earlier this month. She spent two days in detention. I'm trying to make the right thing, do the right thing. I'm not a criminal. I've never got into any trouble. I pay my taxes. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I felt dirty, like a criminal, like I was in a jail. And when it wasn't my fault to begin with, I was a child. This happened to me and I'm trying to fix it. CBSA wasted no time. On Tuesday the 14th, she was told she had to pack up and leave the country just four days later. That's this Saturday. She's asking for a chance to complete her application for residency. But one immigration expert says Immigration Canada will be cautious about saying yes to her. There are possibly two million people who are overstays and various, in various illegal statuses in Canada. Right. This could be a tremendous precedent for everybody else to start, you know, Flood lining gates. up. They're already here. So how would it open the floodgates? Laura's lawyer, Barbara Jackman, says her client is not just any illegal immigrant. She's a so-called dreamer who came to this country as a child and built a life. In Laura's case, she has a cleaning business, pays taxes, has never been in trouble with the law. She's involved with the community and received dozens of letters of support. She says there's nothing for her in France. I am a Canadian in my heart. C couldn't they just go after criminals? We asked Immigration Canada about its position on dreamers, but didn't hear back in time for air. Laura has a hearing here at federal court tomorrow where she will ask a judge to stay her removal order until her application for residency can be processed. Her lawyer told me over the phone that she's hopeful about her chances, but says the government needs to do something to protect Canadian dreamers the same way President Obama did in the States.